Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, basically loosen off these, uh, take these eight bolts out, move the double seat, and then that gives us access to the, uh, the actual rotating piece. So the bolt, the nuts uh, out, just going to keep in them for, for later because I will put the seat back in at some stage. There you go. So in theory, it should just lift out. Let's try it. Okay, just one thing I've just discovered is um, lifting this out, be able to take the headrests away, just angle it back a little bit, pull them out, and that should uh, just lift out now. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. So, seats out. Taking up as I, as I go along, so what I've decided is I've basically got the swivel plate unclipped. Basically, you can see now we've got access to the bolts. Right, onwards and upwards. Okay, just one thing to sort of notice there, you'll, know, you'll see that the original floor bolts have actually all been cut and that still allow the uh, slider plate to move over it without being snagged. So one thing to watch is if you put the chair back in without the slider plate, you may need the threads to be the original length. You may need to change the floor bolts, something to watch. So removing the swivel plate, I discovered that there's another bolt. So you have to make sure you position the hole to access it. So not obvious at first. Two, four, five, six, seven. So there may be another one as well. Okay, interesting enough. Um, two, four, six. There's actually seven nuts on there. There's actually eight bolts. But only seven was used. It is now out. Good idea to sort of uh, clamp the shot before you lift it out, but you know, there we go. Okay, so this is the little panel where electrical bits are stuffed. Okay. Actually, it's a single chair going in, but as a swivel plate, so I may need to sort of leave that for the minute. As you can see, they've been cut hopefully if I was putting the double chair back in without a swivel plate mm, they might not be long enough okay the moment of truth will it fit let's find out okay so you can see it's the bolts line up everything's fine but because they haven't drilled a hole in here, it won't go in. It's that floor bolt's got to come out. Okay, so as you can see, not big enough, not deep enough. I'm going to try and find some sort of spine. I'll take these out. So, right, back in a few minutes. Here we go, one base all fitted. Bolts replaced ready for the seat. 